Hi everyone, Mackey79 here and welcome to this new Dick Tech video of Magic Duels. Now, today I'm going back to the oldest deck that I still have and that's the Boros deck. And yeah, it's been a really long time since I've played that one. But now I managed to update it uh, with Eldritch Moon. And yeah, Eldritch Moon is almost finished. Um, next week will be... Um, Galadesh coming by so yeah I was doubting to make another new video but yeah I wanted to play Destiny Rise of Iron but uh, since the servers are down I, I guess why not make another video so here we go uh, for the first card we got Kitian Hero of Akros and for a one drop he's uh, pretty decent we get an, uh, uh, a 2-1 body and when he attacks with two other creatures we can transform him and then we get Gideon Battleforged and uh, yeah I guess you guys know this one by now it's a pretty decent planeswalker uh, not uh, quite as good as ally of Syndicar but uh, he still gets the job done then a one drop Goblin Glory Chaser for one red we get a 1-1 one -one, which is still great uh, in this current meta it's not too bad and he's got uh, Renown so when he, when he does damage we get to put a plus one plus one counter on him and when he's got Renown he also gets Menace so that's already two nice abilities for one mana and when your opponent can't block him early game they are almost obliged to spend a removal spell on him and uh, that's not uh, too bad then another uh, one mana cost card is the galvanic bombardment now this is a good cheap instant speed removal spell uh, and it basically does two damage to a creature when you first play it excuse me now when you play him the second time or the third time or whatever uh, he is getting better because uh, the more there are in your graveyard the more damage he does so it's a pretty decent uh, removal spell actually and a very cheap very nice card then uh, Abbot of Carol Keep still a uh, yeah un, un golden oldie uh, two mana one red we get a 2-1 with prowess and yeah, prowess uh, means that whenever we creature, we cast a non-creature spell, we get uh, put. Uh, he gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Now, when we play him, we get to exile the top card of our library, and until the end of our turn, we can play that card. So yeah, that's really good in these colors because uh, yeah, red and white they they're not known for uh, having card advantage. So yeah, this helps. Uh, go into our library a bit uh, faster then I still play three copies of the Matron Bully and yeah I know it's not maybe not the best card but he still gets the job he still gets the job done uh, it's two mana and we get a 2-2 two -two. okay it's not too uh, too exciting there but he does have prowess and we do play a lot of uh, non-creature spells as well um, but he has to attack each turn so yeah this one is still a bit in the doubt zone I, I I still like him and yeah to be honest I wouldn't know what to play instead of him at that uh, mana cost so I think he's a pretty good card and he can do a lot of damage when you play some uh, non-creature spells then Twin Bolt it's a card that you rarely see uh, but I still like this one two mana instant speed and he does two damage and you can also redirect it to multiple creatures or to a player or a planeswalker so it's a versatile card you can do damage to everything actually and I'm a bit surprised that it doesn't see play anymore because that's the, it's the versatility that makes it this card so good okay I know it's only two damage for two but yeah it is instant speed it's for me it's still a nice card then Chandra fire of Kaladesh yeah I guess um, if you still want a player now is the time because when Kaladesh drops I guess uh, the new Chandra will see more play than she does uh, because she only costs one mana more and she does ridiculous things and she also comes into the planeswalker uh, she's a planeswalker so she doesn't have a creature sight it's uh, immediately a planeswalker but this one isn't so she starts out as a creature, a 2-2, two, two, and whenever we cast a red spell we get to untap her. Now uh, we can tap her and she, then she deals one damage to the target player and when we deal three or more damage 
in a turn we get to exile her and transform her and then she becomes a great planeswalker because her plus one damage uh, plus one does uh, two damage to a target player minus two we get a little bit of board control in the form of dealing two damage to a target creature and last but not least uh, Chandra deals six damage to each opponent and each player player dealt damage this way gets an emblem uh, at the beginning of your upkeep this emblem deals three damage to you now that's uh, pretty ni pretty nice as well so okay on to the next card uh, yeah the garrison I guess you guys also know this one by now uh, it's a card that sees a lot of play because it's just a great card uh, you pay three mana one red you get a two three body which is already pretty decent but whenever this guy attacks we get to put two one one red human creature tokens onto the battlefield tapped and attacking now that's pretty nuts uh, if your opponent can't deal with it uh, it gets out of hand really fast um, and we and we can transform him how we do that i will explain uh, immediately uh, we get a seven four trample haste and instead of the two one one humans when he attacks it's becoming two three two Eldrazi horror creatures that you get while uh, you attack. Uh, now that's uh, pretty pretty damn nuts. Um, yeah, and it melts with uh, the battlements, so uh, I shall explain when we get to that card. Then a card that's still in is Iroas Iro Champion. Uh, for three mana, a red and a white, we get a 2 2 double strike. Yeah, that's just great. Uh, it doesn't do anything else but but that, but uh, that on its own, it's just nuts. Then the Fury Temper, uh, 3 mana, 3 damage, is pretty nice at instant speed, it's uh, maybe a, tit, uh, a little bit expensive, but uh, yeah, we can also redirect that damage to a player, so yeah, that's pretty good, and if we're lucky, we get to play it for its madness cost, now there aren't I, I don't play the Madness team, there's only one card in this deck that has synergy with it that makes me discard a card. And uh, you shall see that card uh, in a few seconds. Uh, then the Exquisite Firecraft, 3 mana, 2 red, and we get to deal 4 damage to a creature or player. And we, when we get Spell Mastery going on, which shouldn't be a problem, it can be countered. Now, I guess you guys are starting to see the team, so the, the point of this deck is just to put out uh, some cheap creatures on the board, uh, not too expensive, uh, but that have a lot of impact uh, on the board anyway. Uh, and if we can't get through anymore, we just try to, we are going to try to burn off our opponent. Then the Collective Defiance, 3 mana, also the same cost as the Firecraft actually. He's got Escalate, so each time we play, pay one colorless mana more, we get to choose another one of these three abilities and the first one player discards all the cards in his or her hand and draws that many cards so yeah this is a synergy with uh, the madness no no because you have to discard everything no never mind <laughs> uh, but usually we will play it for the second and the third ability anyway and that's to deal four damage to a creature or and three damage to a target opponent which is pretty good because for four mana you can get rid of uh, a creatures that that is bothering you and you can deal damage uh, at the same time then uh, Gisela the broken blade now we're not playing uh, her other side Bruna so I'm only gonna talk about her this time uh, yeah four mana two white flying first strike lifelink a 4-3 body on it yeah just an awesome card Another great card also for 4 mana, um, Flying Haste, the Akum Firebird attacks each turn if able and it's a 3-3. Now the Landfall ability, we're not going to be able to use it that much in this deck because probably we want, it, we want the game to be over by then, by 6 mana. Or yeah, we are not getting to 6 mana because we don't play that much land. Now anyway, it is a nice ability on top end maybe it can trigger and when it does it is nice uh, when we get the landfall uh, yeah we can pay six mana and then he comes back to the battlefield from the graveyard so pretty damn, damn good card also a nice card uh, just to give some short in 
impact uh, on uh, on the board is uh, these devils here for four mana we get trample haste and a six one body now it's a bit um, vulnerable against uh, instant speed removal like uh, twin bolt for example uh, deals just great with these guys but if your opponent doesn't have it or is tapped out he's going to get uh, a lot of damage in one turn now we can get to choose uh, a defender when we attack with this so it's basically kind of a removal as well and if not we are just gonna deal things damage which is awesome and even if we choose a blocker he has trample so probably there will be some damage that still goes through then the angelic destiny is a card that I was thinking of should I play it or not but I yeah it's just too great not to play it it's four mana two white uh, the creature gets flying first strike plus four plus four and when the enchanted creature dies we get to we're getting this back into our hand and yeah like I said before we don't have that much card advantage within within these colors so yeah at least we can get something back uh, now if they exile the creature or they uh, remove it while we cast this and it's on the stack then yeah it doesn't count it still winds up in the graveyard so it's not invulnerable it's still got its uh, weak spots but it's uh, a great card and yeah if you can play it on turn four if it turn three is one of these guys and uh, yeah on turn four you can play the destiny on it yeah then <laughs> yeah you uh, swing for 12 that's uh, pretty nice the game will probably probably be over by then then here he is Gideon ally of Sendikar yeah it's just a great beater for four mana you get a lot on the board and yeah just a good planeswalker and he still sees a lot of play with good reason and then the card that makes us discard a card that's uh, Nahiri the Heartbringer for four mana red and a white we get to plus two her and then she gets uh, two counters on top of the four and then we get to discard a card and if we do we draw a card now that's the only card that has synergy with the fiery temper but sometimes it pays off i already or already played games that uh, were like that uh, her minus two deals with uh, yeah annoying enchantments or artifacts or even uh, a creature and yeah the minus eight is probably uh, an ability that we won't be using with her this time uh, i can't uh, imagine what we should uh, go get yeah we we could get a gazelle i guess it's not bad or or even the devil so uh, we deal six damage and uh yeah uh, i guess i didn't try but i think they come back to your hand yeah i don't know it both says at the beginning of the next end step so i don't know actually if you search these guys with the uh, last ability of Nahiri do they come back to your hand or do they die I don't know I haven't tried it yet so I can't tell you guys maybe someone of you try that out uh, if you do let me know in the comments because I'm quite curious about that one actually because if you can deal six damage with the ability of Nahiri it comes back to your hand and then the next turn you can do it again that's pretty good but yeah, if they die anyway, then it's uh, not that good actually. Then for the mana by ban uh, the land base, uh, that's a little bit uh, something that I've been working on for quite some time. Uh, first, I played 21 lands. That's not enough for sure. That's not enough. Uh, then I played 22, and yeah, if you watch the curve, uh, we have a lot of. A, equally divided uh, one drops and two drops and the three that drops are a bit more that's 14 and then we only have seven uh, four cost uh, cards so that's pretty nice it's a good curve it's not that bad it's not super aggressive or super fast uh, but usually usually you can play on uh, on curve but the problem was when i played 22 lands i never got to cast a four drop on curve so I never had my fourth, fourth land drop never so I played an extra land 23 23 and now it's better 
You shall also see that I don't play the evolving ones, which is not uh, something uh, that you're used of me, because usually I do play them in this kind of decks. But the four drops are pretty important in this in this deck, and I don't want to miss miss my land drop. So I play four planes, nine mountains, because we play a lot of more red cards than we do play white. But we do play double white mana cost, so yeah, it's a bit tricky. Uh, yeah, the spires here. It's just a mana land, which is uh, pretty great. The cliff top root treat two copies then this one is colorless but I do play the two copies because it's uh, just too great if you if you play its other side and yeah like I said if you can uh, that's the card that melts by the way with uh, with the garrison so if you get the garrison out and you play this land or it's already there and you pay five mana then you transform it yeah, you melt it and then you get this one and that's pretty nuts I already talked about that card, but it's uh, yeah, it's just a game winner. Um, and then the Stone qu Quarry, that's actually the card that I play instead of the Evolving Wilds in this case. Um, yeah, and that's it for this deck. Um, I actually book a good, very good results with this. Uh, it's uh, a bit more up-tempo. I won't call it super fast, but it is quite fast. Uh, and if you can play on curve... Uh, and especially when you're on the play, then you have a good chance with this deck of winning. Uh, like I said, the curve is quite nice, it's good. Um, yeah, and I tweaked it a lot, it changed a lot. I've been testing it for a, uh, a good, more than, more than uh, I think, two weeks now. Um, it's, yeah, I really like it. Um, it's straightforward, you don't have to think it uh, through all the time. Uh, you just play it like it comes. And yeah, it's quite nice to just drop some creatures on the board, uh, try to protect them with a the burn, or when they die you just burn your uh, opponent to death. So yeah, pretty nice deck, and I think you guys will like it as well. So that's it for this deck deck video, I hope you join me at the gameplay video. See you guys there, bye bye.